Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Mulve. And it's been a long time since I've done this, but I actually ordered a couple comics off of eBay. It's been so, I've sold a lot of comics off of eBay, but I haven't been interested in acquiring any for quite some time. Um, I did acquire these. Um, these are FemForce comics. This is the envelope they came in. Um, the, the guy was kind enough to put them in plastic bags and boards. That's those. And these are the books. So, out of all the comics I sold, uh, FemForce was the one I didn't ever get rid of uh, because they're they're hard to get a hold of. They really are. And I was very proud of my issues 1 through 100 that I have, I have collected. And I recently saw that... Um, FemForce is getting ready to, to reach their 200th issue. And it made me think, well, gosh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should pick up a few more. Um, I've got one through 100, a whole bunch of like extras, and then a few, just a very few in, the, in that one through 200 span. So I was like, well, where do I start? And here it was, somebody had issues 100 through 103 right there online and it's a three pack it's a it's a mini series femforce the yesterday syndrome so i i popped on it it was i got a really good deal on it uh not bad at all bill black art does great stuff and great writing i think he writes too you know what i can't remember i see him on facebook all the time on the femforce site i'm not really sure i think do, 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 do. Bill Black's the storyteller. Yeah. Um, I was thinking he was the artist, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, no, Bill Black, um, he's been writing for this book for a long time. Anyway, uh, like I said, I just thought I would pick up where I kind of left off in the collection. And it's been so long that I need to, like, re-familiarize myself with the series. And I don't think I even finished reading up to 100, but I need to get caught up, especially where they're crossing the 200 mark. I need to kind of get get back on top of, of reading some comics every now and then. I think it would be good for me to kind of delve into that every now and then. Now, if you're not really familiar with M-Force, uh, you're definitely forgiven. It's a, it's a, it's an obscure title. It's been running since 1985, and it's, it, it, it's very cheesecakey, but it, it has a lot of characters from the 40s, uh, I think even the 30s, that they have drug up into the modern era, put on a team, Femforce. Most of the comics are... Uh, it's about 50-50, whether they're black and white or color. Um, they usually have quite a bit of stuff in the back. So you've got your, your story, your main arc, and then you have like an extra story arc that goes on in the back where something else will be happening. And you get pretty much, you get quite a bit of bang for your buck out of a Thin Forest book. They're usually pretty good, pretty thick. And like I said, that's one of three. Take a look at two of three. This one's got a little bit of crinkle on the edge here, but I'm not gonna let that upset me. Um, the guy was pretty open that they're not perfect. And I was like, yeah, well, they're hard enough to find you kind of just take them where you can get them. And the guy sold them to me fairly cheap for Femforce comics. Um, that's something you don't see every day. Somebody uh, chained to a swastika. Yep, that's uh, <laughs> not, not your typical cover. Um, one thing I've always kind of noticed about Femforce comics is uh, there's a lot of stuff that really is kind of not very PC uh, for the day, and they don't really care. They they just make them like they always made them. And I respect that. Um, you gotta respect that. When, in this modern era, when so much stuff is, uh, who's this gonna offend and stuff like that? This comic never really seemed to care. And oh my gosh, is that Kramer? Good night. That's, that's Kramer. Why is Kramer in this comic book? It is weird, but anywho, you get your stories in the back. Gotta love those. And then three of three, also not a perfect cover. I'm seeing lots of ticks on the spine. That doesn't bother me because I'm 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 gonna open it and read it. You know, I'm not a not a not a uh, 
cherry collector there. So got a pretty good ear on that corner. Yeah, just the, the sheer amount of swastikas on a book that this would have come out in 1997. Wowza. Pretty good run for an independent title. And the fact that the book is still going, and the fact that you're still getting pages like this, I mean, this is pretty good. I haven't gotten anything. I think I have a few early, later issues, probably in the 150s. But the fact that they're almost to 200 now, that does excite me. And I'm kind of... Kind of interested to see how much longer it's going to keep going. I hope it keeps going for years and years to come. The letter page. The big deal with a sin and gargantua extravaganza in the back. Um, I always I always enjoy gargantua. Um, I, I one of my favorite figures of all time was my DC Giganta figure. Um, and I know that this is not her, but this character gets a lot of play, uh, Gargantua. I always appreciated that. I always took them to be fairly similar type of characters and, um, where they don't make any, uh, Fem Force figures, she was always kind of my representation of, of, uh, Gargantua from the, the Fem Force comics. Anyway, it's only three books and I looked at them quite a bit here, but, uh, that's what it is. That's what they are. Um, I still recommend this series uh, to anybody who has who's into obscure kind of kind of odd books. Uh, it's it's definitely not your normal stuff, and I don't know what more I can do than recommend them as much as I have. Uh, there isn't a ton of stuff that, of of content about Fem Force, so I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate showing them off whenever I can. Anyway, that's my story. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, this has been the first comics I've bought and actually paid for and sought out and purchased in, oh, well, over a year and a half. Anyway, thank you so much. Catch you guys later. Bye.